take it away. Yes, uh, four injured at American Dream Mall uh, yesterday afternoon after a decorative helicopter fell in a pool at the American Dream Mall. The decorative helicopter that suspends from the ceiling at DreamWorks Water Park was detached after 3 p.m. and landed in the pool. The four people hurt were treated for non-life-threatening injuries. The water park was immediately evacuated right after. American Dream spokesperson Jessica Griffin said, quote, The safety of our guests is our highest priority. We will conduct a thorough investigation into this incident to ensure the park meets all safety regulations as required, end quote. This is not the first incident that happened in the American Dream Mall. Um, and is once dive while snowboarding at the Big Snow, which is the indoor snowboarding uh, place within the American Dream Mall. So that has happened in the past, but this was in the DreamWorks Water Park. Yeah, this was just yesterday that it happened. And it's sad that, you know, people were having fun mm -hmm. and then got injured, sadly, because of, because I don't know if you've been to American Dream. I've they been have, several times. They have like a lot of stuff like in the ceilings, especially yeah. the DreamWorks Water Park, where they have all the characters, you know, Shrek, they have how to mm -hmm. train your dragon all these characters like on the on the ceiling so like it's scary that yeah. you know they have very extensive decorations throughout the whole mall mm -hmm. and you know it's really extravagant and really you know cool if you're into that but I, i'm glad that at least the injuries were not life-threatening oh yeah of course Which you know good. we don't want that we don't want that so hopefully they'll be okay and you know american dream can you know uh, expand security measures so that that doesn't happen again we have a not a local story but a story close to us because we had the chance to talk to a lot of people from michigan state michigan state reopens today a week after mass shooting michigan state university is going to reopen campus today a week after three people died and five others were injured from mass shooting Changes that will be present on campus are academic adjustments and increased security from the police department. University officials say this reopening will be part of the healing process for the campus community. Interim Provost Thomas Jaisko said, end quote, no one thinks that we're coming back to a normal week. In fact, this semester is not going to be normal. No, course, no courses will be held where the shooting occurred, and 300 classes have been relocated to other places on campus. Professors have been advised to extend grace, sympathy, and empathy to their students and reevaluate how the rest of their courses will go on. This is, I'm going to send a special shout out, shout out to Impact 89 FM, Michigan State's campus radio station, for their coverage of the event, and station manager Delaney Rogers for joining us last Tuesday on the morning bus with host Jay Goats and Aiden Ivers. So, uh, you know, it's good that they're coming back, but hopefully, you know, this is part, as they say, part of the healing process because, yeah. you know, innocent people were, you know, sadly devastated by this tragedy. Mm -hmm. And we hope that this doesn't happen. This is not a occurring theme in other places. You know, we're later on, we're going to talk about a shooting that happened in Linda, which is very close to Montclair. I would say like, I don't know, my like 15 miles away. Yeah. Or 60 miles away. So it's very, very sad and scary that this is happening. And Michigan State is a fellow MSU. Yes. So, you know, obviously when I first read the news, I read, you know, more, many of the headlines said MSU. I think and a I was lot scared. of I was like, oh, my God, I live here. So, yeah. so, you know, but Michigan State, you know, my thousand prayers go to you guys. And hopefully this semester, even though it started rough, you know, because we're only in February, you know, it's only yeah, the it's second the month. beginning. Yeah. So hopefully you know, they can go on and be able to do the things they do mm -hmm. in Michigan State University. And again, shout out to Impact 89 FM for not only covering this this horrible tragedy, but also being part of the morning bus and showing up and being part of the interview with Jake and Aiden that they're going to be on tomorrow. So you can listen to them tomorrow and, and we'll see what happens tomorrow. But, you know, we got to go to a quick, 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 quick break. And we will be right back. But we got more entertainment news. And this one comes from, this is a news story from me. Like, I wrote <laughs> this. I wrote this. This is Victor Muniz Rosa's review of Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantum Mania. Saturday night, I watched the new installment of the Marvel Cinematic Universe, Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantum Mania. I have to be honest. I came, with very, I came in with very low expectations. I have not been very optimistic about the MCU since Avengers Endgame first came out. 
I haven't loved the recent movies like Thor, Love and Thunder. That movie sucked. <laughs> mm-hmm. However, I gave it a chance. I gave Ant-Man and the Wops. I like Paul Rudd. I gave it a chance. And for me, it was okay. It was okay. <laughs> Paul Rudd's performance as Scotland, a.k.a. Ant-Man, is great and showcases why he's one of the highlights in the Avengers movies. A funny, charismatic character that can also be dramatic when an emotional scene is happening. Hayley Newton as Lang's daughter, Cassie, and Jonathan Mayers as the main villain, Kang the Conqueror, were phenomenal and gave impressive performances for an MCU movie. Other standouts are Michelle Pfeiffer and Vagaline Lilly and Michael Douglas as part of the Pym Van Dyne family. Besides the great acting, I believe the movie could have better writing. The writing wasn't very great, and some of the jokes did not land. Some of them were good. I laughed, but uh, it could have been better. The movie overall was a fun experience, and if you love good action, this movie will be a good fit. If you're not a big fan of comic books and superhero movies, maybe you should skip, skip this one and watch Avatar again or whatever. From one out of ten, I give it a six. So did any of you watch the new Ant-Man movie? Yes. You did? What do you think? I gave it an eight. An eight? Wow. Yeah. That's, that's generous. I was... I was very much so entertained and I was looking at my roommate who I watched with it. And if you know, um, our assistant sports director, Anthony Caffone, mm-hmm. he's an angry elf. <laughs> he finds a lot to complain about mm-hmm. a lot. So I was looking at him the whole time. I'm like, no, I'm looking for him to find something to complain about. But even him walked out of that movie saying like, yeah, that was actually really good. I think it's the best it man you've seen so far. Oh yeah. 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 I don't yeah. know. I love the first one. I think the first one's pretty good. Yeah. Although I, there's a character that I don't know. I'm not going to say because it might be a spoiler, but there's a character that I love that was very big, let's say. And that was very funny. That was very funny. I do. I do think. Well, before I before I say my review for the movie, because I saw it, too. Mm-hmm. I uh, the this, tender this, price this is inspired by me. This mm. whole segment is inspired by me. I inspired you. I inspired you to see it. I inspired I, you to see. Yeah, it. in a way, yes, yes, you did. He's like, I'm yeah, my crumbs. I was. Let me tell the story. I was. I was gonna go to the movie theater either way, but I didn't know which movie to watch. And then I saw, you know, I was walking to my dorm, mm-hmm. and I saw Tanner Price walking the other, like, opposite mm-hmm. way. And we're like, "Hey, Tanner, what's up?" And he was like, "Yeah, yeah, I watched. Uh, I watched uh, Ant Man. It's pretty good. You go, you should watch it." And I was like, "Okay, perfect. I will." Yeah. I, I, I'm sorry for imitating your voice like that. I don't okay. know why I did it's that okay. voice. It's okay. Uh, but uh, you don't go. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty good anyways uh <laughs> so i decided to watch it and and yeah i had a good time but i think you know it could have been better it um been better. i i agreed i mean so, some of the jokes some of the jokes made me really laugh which is which haven't ha- happened in a while in yeah. any mcu movie mm-hmm. like the the audio when he's talking about his audio book that that was that, that was, was funny that was really funny i yeah. like i was laughing i was i was like laughing in the theater which i haven't done watching one of those movies in a long time hey that seems um, pretty good it's not a big spoiler he, yeah. he has a yeah. book it came out and yeah. he has an audio book and he's listening to the audio yeah. book and like, like i can relate completely yeah because i've been listening to my shows <laughs> like on my own, I'd be but, listening to my voice to just to like see how it, you know, I want to know how it went out and like I want to hear it back. So well, I've been prone to that. Yeah. Although one one of the complaints that a lot of people have with Marvel movies is that they're not movies in themselves. They're just pieces in like a bigger puzzle. Mm-hmm. Like they're not like they don't focus on making they focus on telling a bigger story. They don't focus on telling the story in the movie, Um, which did happen in this movie. It wasn't like. Yeah, it was you know, it was very much a build up to you know Ken it was a, as the main villain. I do have to say, and I'm not gonna spoil anything about it. The post credit scene was awesome. No, no, that, that was, was that was good. So, I, that that got me hyped for upcoming, upcoming stuff. Project, I think yeah. people forget that that's what the MCU has been since Iron Man, the only MCU yeah. movie ever that was ever supposed to be a standalone film was the first MCU movie. They did not know what direction they were headed after Iron Man. Mm -hmm. They saw the success of Iron Man and a light bulb flicked. Mm -hmm. That's what happened. And every movie since then has been to build off of an entire story. It has been my main reminder anytime somebody has complained about how slow and awkward the beginning of Phase 4 started how oh my god i just it just doesn't feel like the mcu we know well no duh everybody's dead (laughs) 
They're like, do y'all not remember everybody's I dead? Do. They have to introduce an entire new ensemble. It's going to take time. These movies are not going to be Captain America Civil War. They're not going to be Thor Ragnarok. We're not going to get that quality as y'all claim, you non, although, you non movie critics. Although, We're not going to get there until a good couple of years. Although, here's something. They released a new Thor movie, and as Victor said, it sucked. It sucked. I don't know about that. That, was ter- that movie was terrible. Nah, uh, I think I, I was so I was so excited for that movie too because Thor Ragnarok. Yeah, what now? Your problem? Thor, <laughs> Thor Ragnarok is ta- is probably one probably my it, favorite. It's, my it's probably favorite, my favorite yeah. MCU movie. That was your problem. You went in with expectations. Thor shouldn't have gotten. No, I went in with expectations because it was Thor. It was an established character, and I yeah. expect okay, it but... was an established character with the I believe the same director as the last one. Yes. So I, I went in see, expect yeah. I went in expecting that okay, it's going to be a similar movie, and I was so disappointed because yeah. it, it it had nothing Think it had, about why people liked Ragnarok they were expecting the same boring stag Thor that we got the first yes and I that's expect, the point of the Ragnarok it the same that. the same complaints they had about love and thunder were the same props they gave for Ragnarok no I no well, I think no it, I didn't it went, it went too hard on the jokes and I think like the story wasn't as great and they had Christian no, the, Bale as the main villain but here's the thing they went too hard on the jokes and I don't remember any of them <laughs> I don't Do you remember any of, any of Ragnar? Yes, oh, of I did. yes, yes. I remember. Yes, of course I do. My favorite, one of my favorite things is um, what's it called? When he's about to fight the Hulk, and he's like, "I know him. He's from work." That's, that's, <laughs> that's, that's so fun. Funny. That's, that's so fun. It's the I same. Rem- I don't know. I think <laughs> no, that, but there was mm-hmm. yeah, but y'all okay. some non Thor- movie critics. <laughs> I know. Thor- I'm a movie critic. I just did a yeah review right now. But th- uh, I don't know. Uh, wow. Uh, but I, but Moniz, Rosa, you need to be at every movie premiere so going to Rotten Tomatoes and telling Rotten Tomatoes this movie was good. Hey, I would love to bad. do that. I will, I love movies. I would hey WMSC, I'm I could be the official movie critic. Like yep. I can do that. I'll do it every I'll do it every Monday. I'll come with a new movie and critique it. You want to <laughs> listen to movie uh, critics? Um movies till midnight. Oh yeah, that's that's a show. I'm about to I'm about that's to plug true. a show, and I forgot there was... what day they're on. <laughs> they're they they're the day before. I, I I was. Hey, I, there's another. I was gonna. Show. I was. Of course, the director's go. Well, why don't you give us your show, Moana? Let's see if you learned from last semester. I feel called out, and that's <laughs> so mean. But hey, director's cut Wednesdays, 10 p.m. I should listen. You still haven't learned from that. Excuse <laughs> you. I got better. You did get better. You know, at least you remember what day your show is. Or some shit. Whoa. Okay. Okay. That, there's some tension. I, there's some tension. No. Hold out. No, nah, for context. For yeah. context, last semester, our, our former Morning Buzz producer would always prompt us to plug our shows. Yeah. And when he found out that Lana was having her own show, he would always prompt her. And poor, shy, sweet quiet timid lana was always did not know how to plug her own show she was just like movies till midnight and isaiah was like when is it and she was like that's not oh, oh yeah it's, that's it's, not my show <laughs> okay we're gonna take it <laughs> next time next we're, yeah we're, we're gonna, gonna take a quick break and we're gonna we'll, take it we're gonna uh cut 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 <laughs> cut, yeah. cut director's yeah. cut oh, nice. i uh, feel so called out <laughs> so we're gonna take you a quick break it. and we'll be one PETA offers to pay for Oscar Mayer Wienermobile repairs if they become vegan. After the cat, cat, cataclytic converter was stolen from an Oscar Mayer Wienermobile in Las Vegas, PETA offered to fix it on one condition. They have to become a vegan Wienermobile. In a letter by PETA President Ingrid Newkirk said in a letter that the Wienermobile should become a not-dogmobile. And this demand comes when the global market of plant-based hot dogs grew by 20% last year. The letter was addressed to the Kraft Heinz Company, President Carlos Abrams Rivera. Uh, Newkirk said, in quote, since America's appetite for cruelty-free food is only growing, we hope you'll relish this opportunity to catch up with the trend oh. by having at least one veggie dogmobile. A spokesperson for Kraft Heinz, quote, and said, end quote, we received the letter and respectfully declined their offer as our wiener wheel is all fixed up and back on the road. Giving people a variety of high quality, delicious food options is important to us. And we have long offered many plant-based options. We recently announced new plant-based Philadelphia cream cheese. So what do you think about this, guys? <laughs> they always say, if I were an Oscar Mayer wiener. Mm-hmm. And I am not an Oscar Mayer wiener. 
No. And I wouldn't be I wouldn't be a um I wouldn't be a, a vegan Oscar Meyer wiener yes. because I in my personal opinion, I have I have a food opinion. Yes, what's your food opinion? I have a food opinion. And oh, maybe no. it's because I think hot dogs are nasty. I used to love them. Okay, I'll be honest. They, they are. I used I, I used them. to I used to love them. I used to love them. And I just had them so much that I just was just like, this is terrible. You know, I can see that. I can't eat a hot dog like every day, but like once in a while. Once in a while. No, like, I can't. I can't. Really? You it has to like or it? unless it's like unless I know it's go- something about the because it's a grilled made thing, mm-hmm. but when I'm eating it. It has the consistency of like a cold cut. That is true. Yeah. That is true. So it is a hot dog. Yeah. So, you know, it's something that was grilled. Something that should be, you know, at least when I think of grilled, I don't think like a cold cut, but it tastes like a cold cut. Um, but I don't know. But the it's I had I, bad experiences with hot dogs. So really? now they're my Why? mortal enemies. What's happening? I'm hungry this? now. What's your beef with hot dogs? Oh. If you could even consider it beef. But yeah, it was sixth grade Christmas. Was it beef or pork? All of the above. If, if it's if it's an animal, it's an hot dog. Okay. That's, that's number one. Um, It was sixth grade Christmas time. I was in the Poconos. Um, we were balling on a budget. And that night, we had hot dogs for dinner. Mm. I was a hungry boy, so I had a lot of hot dogs. Okay. That morning, I did not have a lot of hot dogs. And I'm going to keep it there to keep it very FCC safe. Ooh. But let's just say that those hot dogs did not agree with me. Mm. And ever since then, I have not been able to eat a hot dog. So you have a phobia of hot dogs. Not a phobia. Yeah. I fear no man <laughs> or dog. He has an aversion to hot dogs. Yeah, <laughs> as I Google whatever. It is. <laughs> Both Tanner and JT have an inversion to hot dogs. Yes, I'm joining the club. Wait, 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 hold on. I'm in the United States of America, and all the Americans in the room don't like hot dogs. Hey, what is I, I, never I like get it. Okay, so you know, using your logic, dogs. every Puerto Rican loves tacos. Uh, that's, that's going racist. To... We shouldn't say that. Anyway, <laughs> you hey. just said I'm in America and I'm the only one that oh, likes okay. hot dogs. <laughs> that's racist. But anyway, also I like, but like, Amer- like that's one of the most known foods for in America: burgers and hot dogs. Like, it's not even... known? Yes, oh. yes. I thought we were known for other things, <laughs> like pizza. Maybe I thought we were known for our one that's... things. A lot of people think that no, it was made in New York. It was no pieces of Italian. It, Nobody. Well, I, I it, it was made in New York by an Italian, Italian, so it's an Italian American food. Mm, uh, okay. I Nobody caught my. Now you know that it was not made in Italy it's by an. Italian. It's different. It's because it's because pizza. It's because pizza as a whole. Pizza as a whole. There's only one real. There's only one real good pizza, and it's a true New York slice. Or New Jersey slice. It's it's anytime different. somebody tries to insert Chicago in yeah, that conversation, that's right. I want to pizza, drunk, pizza is ruined. The global view of pizza is ruined because of Chicago. Mm, yeah. Deep dish pizza. It, it's, I've heard California pizza. I took the love of my life to a pizza place in New York. Now, mind you, it was one of the uh, trashy 99 cent stores, but it's still better than any type of pizza you'll get in South Jersey. It's better. She extremely yeah. disagreed with me. And the first my- thing she said was, why is the crust so thin? And I almost yelled. Mm. Okay. <laughs> because so I, that's what it's supposed to be. Yeah. So we're Leslie and I are both wrong. According to a quick Google search and a few uh resources, Leslie's like, I'm not wrong. The broadest definition of pizza is uh, was a flatbread with ingredients baked. In. So its origins is from Greek, like from Greek. You know, they just do oh, flatbreads. So, Lana gets her celebration. And then, you know, it started becoming what we know today, which is pizza. So it started as flatbread and then slowly it became, you know, the amazing food pizza. I'm but sorry. Anyways, I haven't seen Lana this happy since I played ABBA before the show started. <laughs> <laughs> so anyways, I love hot dogs. I don't know about you. Like, I enjoy a good hot dog. Not every day. Like, that's like, mm-hmm. that's like death. Like I, I I'll die in, in ten years if Victor, I eat hot dogs I, every day. I agree with that. I enjoy like a good hot dog oh, on thank like. Thank you, Lana. That's always on my team. Love you, Lana. I love you too. On like July Fourth, 
like a good hot dog. Hey, yeah, yes. yeah. That's the only day. That's the only day when like I'll okay think of having one because I could just be a true American that day. Can I say burger, hot dogs? I got baseball on. I got <laughs> I got so I got two things of soda in my hand. There's the pool. There's the fireworks. Oh, you are so white. <laughs> Two sodas? Why? Why Two sodas, that's not healthy. And his name is Tanner. Um, Your dentist might have some questions. I I, I think that... Did you say you don't (laughs) dentist? No, no, I don't. I don't get get two sodas. Wait, 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 wait. wait. The 4th of July. In one two-minute interval, Tanner just referenced 4th of July. Yeah, that's very... Hot dogs. <laughs> Keep in mind, he wears shorts year round. Hey, guess you see where I'm. His name is hey, Tanner. Hey, guess what? I see hey, guess I'm what? Going. Hey, guess what? It's President's Day. <laughs> Yo, George Washington. Tanner, George Washington. definitely. Tanner, do you drive? Uh, I drive my dad's car. Can I guess that it has an American flag draped somewhere on? No. Oh no, I would have been on the most. Close enough. Close enough. <laughs> the Fourth of July is the one day where I get. Like patriotic about the country every other day. Like, Wait, what? What does your dad drive? A Subaru. Oh, that's very not 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 usually white. My mom, <laughs> my mom drives a Subaru too. Oh, maybe it's the new white car. Who knows? My dad also used to drive a Subaru that he gave to me. Subaru is I the see new the connection. <laughs> the connection. This is very. <laughs> okay, let's move on. Let's move I on. think we have to move on. Yeah, I see the connection. Anyways, this headline scares me. Wait, oh, I thought that said bad. Never mind. It says, ooh, that smells good. What is it? It's New Mexico with huh? what? Am I on the wrong one? No? No. You're, no. no oh, I'm, okay. I'm okay. confused. You're also this. confused of what why New Mexico smells good? Yes. Mm-hmm. And why Victor <laughs> put a little um heart emoji. Oh no, I didn't put that. Oh, is that a heart? It's the one where it's like blushing and the little hearts are on the face. It's oh, actually, one of my swear, favorite. So I don't. Oh my god, that smells so good. What is that? It's New Mexico. <laughs> Why don't so... I get to see the emoji? I got a square. <laughs> so the New Mexico legislator has a new bill that would make New Mexico the first state to have their own official aroma. What would be that aroma? Green chiles roasting in the fall. Democratic State Senator William Soles sponsored the bill that wants to add more state symbols into New Mexico. If this gets approved, it'll be one of many things New Mexico is known for, I guess. For example, New Mexico has an official state tie, which is the bolo tie. How many of you knew that? I don't Um, think anybody. Nobody knew that. that. I don't think. Okay, sorry. Just (laughs) maybe I'm getting off track, but I don't think anyone would know about the scent. I don't think it'd be culturally significant anyways <laughs> new mexico ha- also has an official aircraft that is an air balloon a again nobody knew. yeah now you know <laughs> i mean we're not we're very far from new mexico maybe yeah, surrounding we're states. one of the new states you know we are a new jersey yes but not new mexico <laughs> yes that's true a fiscal impact report states a uh, quote the new state aroma could help draw visitors away from colorado which for some reason thinks it has <laughs> <laughs> green chili comparable to that of new mexico end quote what okay <laughs> i'm sorry if you guys had to pick an aroma for new jersey what do you think you would be and i'm laughing because my first thought is the awful scent of the turnpike on the one bridge Ooh, that, yeah, that does was, anyone know what i'm talking what, about what a nice aroma right see i think my i think the, the one the official state aroma i get of of well, it's not a state. The official aroma of New York City is that weird sewer smell that, that you get. Sewer smell. I know what sewer... you mean. I definitely know what you mean. That that is you just the, New York has that has that scent to it. Yeah, and hey, it's New York. New York is a magical place, even though it which has is, the most weirdest smell. Which this is weird because there's so many times walking on this campus that I smell things like I smell like pickle a lot. <laughs> Breaking news: Tanner discovers the sense of smell. But 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 it, <laughs> but I'll be walking. I'll be walking by like you know in the middle of campus, and I'm just like, hmm. you know what? That's not weird. Last night I was walking back to my dorm when I was walking through mm-hmm. lot 17, and I smelled funnel cake. Yeah, that too. That too. It's pickles and funnel cake. Yo, I want to walk where you guys are walking, smelling yeah, funnel cake. And- yeah, it's so it's so weird. 
It's so weird. Yeah, I agree. So I don't know. Like, you know, I've been in New Jersey for a while, so I know a few things. So I think mm-hmm. the official aroma could be like fresh bagels. Like, you know, that smell of fresh, like a bagel. fresh bagel. Yeah. Oh, bagel. Or maybe a hot pork roll slash Taylor ham sandwich out of the... Or pizza, which is... Why are you making that face? Pizza in New Jersey. I would understand Pizza's New York. Pizza is amazing in New Jersey. Yeah. Okay. But like okay. the okay. only official... Aroma, I hate like, pizza I most know. weeks. Official yeah. aroma? I don't. I don't know. It I, I don't think it should like be like cheese and sauce yeah, and bread good. and dough and happiness. Oh, I agree. And this maybe like basil. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know about that. We'll see. We'll see. But what you guys think? Oh, well, what should uh, be the official New Jersey smell? The aroma. I'm sorry. Smell sounds weird. Sex. Aroma. Maybe you know. Maybe because we're the Garden State, we should be like flowers. Oh, that's true. That would be so beautiful. Ooh, that'd be beautiful. That would be. Beautiful. I just thought of that. I'm like, sure. lavender well, sounds. Really I got it. I got to give it to bagels. I got to give it to a bagel shop. You walk in and it just smells like breakfast. So I think bagels is the winner for now. I'm okay with a that. Fresh oh, bagels. For those people who don't like breakfast. Well, too bad. I'm going well, with. Well, you know what I'm maybe going Maybe not many people like Greek chiles. You, you know, know what? You know what I'm going with? I'm going with because I'm going with the weird scent of when it snows, like that slush. Wow. I don't it has a smell. No, I would go. I would what go. Are you with, a bloodhound? How does that have a smell? I don't know. I would go with like bagels. Probably bagels or like pizza. Mm. Like I don't get the pizza. Like, like why pizza? Pizza of just like a small town pizza restaurant that you just go and get a slice. Like not like not like a fancy pizza place. No. Like place where you're going to get a slice like on your on your like lunch break or something. Mm-hmm. That's where it, that's hey. that that would be my scent of New Jersey. We, scent I, of New Jersey. Um JT, I have a question. Sure. So is South Jersey pizza thick crust? It is very thick crust. It is very um, altered. It is very um, attentive. Um, and personally, I think it's an abomination. Um, some I, of the most famous South Jersey spots that people down there swear is the best pizza ever is this one spot um, that the Jonas Brothers actually like, um, Carluccio's. It's terrible. Um, there's one spot on the Ocean City Boardwalk a lot of people love. Um, it's called Mango and Mango. That is terrible. Also terrible. That is terrible. I will. If people love that. People line up for it. It's awful it's one of the many things i do for love that makes me genuinely wonder about myself (laughs) my girlfriend loves that place and i eat it every time we go and i cry on the inside every time i eat it there's better there's better pizza places on the ocean city boardwalk to go i was just wondering because like every time i've gotten pizza on like on the boardwalks and down the jersey shore it was thin crust it's like it's technically thin but they don't know how to spread the dough thin enough mm. that's oh. their problem so it's like they try and make it thin but if you've ever had something here at 90.3 wbc up in montclair yeah. in the montclair area that's it's an true. actually thin properly thinned out dough you know the difference and if you go anywhere past let's say bergen county they don't know pizza shout out anthony franco yeah <laughs> I just want to say, you know, it as it is nearing 9 a.m., it's way too early to be talking about pizza. I know we've been awake for yeah, a few hours here on the bus crew, but fun. anyone just tuning in is probably having a cup of coffee. You know, and this is a little weird. I, I, you know, I'm not a big pizza for breakfast person, Cold but pizza for breakfast I'm just saying really the majority hard. of our listeners are probably not having pizza for breakfast. I mean, if you are, I mean, more power to you. Mm-hmm. but just yeah. saying more buzz is coming to a close i love the piece of discussion but sadly we have to go you know Aww. there's more things to come here today on the monday wmsc radio day so hope you guys have enjoyed the morning bus i know i did thank you much for joining us i am victor Maurice rosa i was joined by leslie gallagher jakey with tanner price and lana Habdakis. thank you so much for watching this was the morning bus i am victor Maurice rosa nos vemos bye